Microsoft 365 users are often unable to use their link for .my password within the login page. In other words, they need to ask the administrator to reset their password when they don't remember it. Why this link doesn't work? Well, this option is disabled by default in Microsoft 365. The administrator will need to enable it before users can recover their password with this link. My name is Carlos, and today I will show you how to enable self-service password reset and the steps that users will need to follow after you enable it. There might be cases when you want to keep this option disabled, but if it is not the case, I suggest you to enable. It will make your life easier as the administrator and also for the users. If for some reason you want to enable this option for only a group of users and not for everyone, I will also show you how to enable it for only some users in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Let's now jump to our computer and see how this works. First, you will need to access your Microsoft 365 Admin Center. From there, you will need to go to Azure Active Directory to enable self-recovery password. So we enter our username, click on Next, and our password. Click on Sign In. Within our Microsoft account, if we have the admin role, we will find the admin icon here, and it will give us access to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We can click on the top left corner to expand the menu, and then click Show All. As you may know, you as the administrator are able to reset any user's password, but this could be an annoying task. Let's just have a quick look on how to reset the password for any user. We need to click on Users, then Active Users. Here, we will be able to select the user we want to reset the password. And on the top right side, we will see the option Reset the Password. If we click on Reset the Password, we will be able to automatically generate a password, or we can select the password that we want to create. We can require the user to change the password when they first log in. And we can also email the sign-in information to the user. If we select this option, we will need to enter a alternate email address for the user. That would be the process to reset the password. But of course, it would be easier if the users can reset their own password. Now, before enabling the self-password recovery option, let's say that we want to enable that option for a group of people, not for all the users. In that case, we will need to create a group. We can click on the menu and we will go to Teams and Groups. Within Teams and Group, we click on Active Teams and Groups, and we will create a group by clicking here, Add a Group. The type of group that we need to create is a security group. We select it, and then we click on Next. We should give it a name. We can call it Password Recovery Group, and we should give a description. Then we click on Next, and we are now ready to create the group. Click on Create Group. The group has been now created. Click on Close. Then here, within the Active Teams and Groups, we can click on Security, and we will find our brand new group. We can click on it. And here, we will be able to add members. Those members will be the persons or users that will be able to reset their password when we enable the option. We click on Members. We can click on View Old and Manage Members. We can click on Add Members to add users to the group. And for this example, we are going to add just one user. Let's say that we have this user, car at itb.cloud. We click on Add. Now we have created the groups, and we also add a user to the group. Now the next step will be enabling the self-recovery password. We can close here. We can expand our menu again, and we will find Azure Active Directory. We click on here. We need to click on Azure Active Directory again. And here in this menu, we will need to scroll down and we will find the option Password Reset. We click on here and we will find three options. It is currently set up for none, so it is not enabled. We can select or we can enable it for all. If we want to enable it for all the users, we just click here on All and then Save. In our case, we want to enable only for a selected group. So we click on Selected, and then we click on Selected Group. On the right, 
we will see the group that we just created, the password recovery group. We select that group and click on select. Now we click on save. From this moment, we have enabled the self-service password reset for the people that belong to the password recovery group. Something else that we are able to do here on authentication method, we will be able to select what kind of method the users will be able to use to recover their password. They can use the mobile app, a mobile app code, a email. They can use their mobile phone, another phone, or a security question. Once you selected the method, you click on save. Since we now enable the self-recovery password, let's see the steps that the user will need to follow. The user will need to access their Microsoft account. We enter the username, click on next, and the password. The user will find this message. More information required. Your organization needs more information to keep your account secure. The user will need to click on next, and he or she will need to provide the information to recover the password, like the phone number and a alternate email address. Enabling the self-recovery password will save you a lot of time, and your Microsoft 365 user will be happier. I hope you find value in this video. If you do, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any question or want to leave us a comment, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, or want to find it easily again in the future, I invite you to hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.